<clears throat> hey, so uh, this is uh, party space. As you can see, it's uh, right next to the pond. Well, this is the shallows. And then over there is, uh, behind those trees, is the deep end. Here we have a clearing. I cleared out the shrubs. And uh, since it's nice and sunny here, or open, uh, most of the mosquitoes stay in the forest, um, so we could have barbecue, maybe a campfire, and we can also extend it. Uh, all of this, there's, see here there's uh, these shrubs, and they're fairly easy to rip out of the ground, that's basically what I did uh, to make this space. And, uh, see, there's two of them. This one is a bit closer to the forest. Um, uh, but still, there should be enough room for quite a few people. Um, uh, and later on, when it's more into the summer, and it's really hot, then we can, uh, clear out a place for us to party in here, in the shade. And there's apple trees, and there's berry trees, there's various herbs growing. But this over here, this is a paralytic, it's an invasive species. In any case, um, yep. So I just cleared the path today for this party space, and now we'll be able to have parties here. See this branch was in no way. Seems like it hasn't been used in uh, quite some time, several years. In fact, yep. And so, just gonna show you how it works. See, there's a path I'm following. It's fairly easy to decipher which way to go. Oh, I'll probably do some more clearing here also, uh, just to make it more obvious for the newcomers. Yeah, so people could even camp out here at night or bring their tents for some extra party space. It's going to be really good. The water is really warm now in the pond and there's fish in it so it's definitely healthy enough to swim in. Actually, even last time I saw some frogs and frogs only live in fairly clean water so that pond is extra clean though uh, I did rinse myself off with the shower after I got home after uh, swimming in the pool but, uh, swimming in the pond but that was as much from mosquitoes as anything else so there are much fewer of them here than there are on the other side of the pond because it's more bright Yep. So, continuing along this path, which I haven't yet completely cleared of obstacles. So, more or less, I mean, people can get that through, through here. I think the critical component is finding the entrance. Here, see. Do quite a bit of stomping to get through all this.
It's actually an easier route over there, but anyways. Hey, this is where I was coming from. See here? I cleared out some rose bushes which were guarding the entrance. Probably take some of these for Santa. So as you can probably see, it's near the railroad. Over there is uh, Lawrence Street. And it's like a five minute walk maybe. Yep. So one of the ways that I noticed this is the right one for right locations first, I see there's this telephone pole. And then there's that orange marker over there. You can see it. Uh, but one of the main things I look for is this big rock right here. I'm going to put my name on it or something. So right next to this rock are these flowers. And just go down there. And that's the place. 